for a change I was not going to record in the car today and I was going to record while it's working but this is a bit too noisy so I'll get this finished and then I'll get back to you guys and what will I talk about today? let's find out today I'm going to talk about um, how I recorded the different Burtzum uh, albums. Uh, and I'll start with the debut, of course. Uh, the debut was done the uh, classical way, in the sense that I just went to the studio, set up the gear, and uh, recorded. Where I used the drum kit of uh, a friend from Old Funeral and uh, we didn't really adjust the sound a lot, we just set up the kit, uh, the microphones and did uh, check the sound, did some minor adjustments and uh, I started recording and I uh, have to move down here. Um, I recorded uh, the drums first and I did not use a click track. Uh, I probably should have done that and uh, the sound technician asked me if I wanted to but I wanted to do it the uh, natural way. So in between the break when, the, when there was a break I was just using the sticks to simulate the click track and I was playing the drums and I was uh, thinking the song in my head so I had memorized how it would be and I just played it, pretended there were some guitars in the background. And when I had completed the drums, I recorded the first, second guitar, and then I recorded um, the, uh, the bass, and finally, the vocals. Um, we also recorded uh, some uh, intro. I used a, there was a huge gong, uh, what's it called in English? I'm not sure what it's called, this big round thing that you beat, typical in uh, East Asian cultures. And uh, I um, we used to beat it, set up a microphone, and to make this uh, sound for the dungeon, Dungeons of Darkness. Uh, yes, I think that's about it. Uh, Euronymous was present, and I suggested that he would, you know, play a, a lead for the the war track and he did just improvise something uh, I also just improvised something nothing really fancy and um, uh, when we had recorded everything uh, Pitten, that's the sound technician, the engineer and me we mixed the album and uh, that was it everything was done if I recall correctly in I think it was 23 hours from the moment we arrived until we left with a finished product. So it went really, really fast. Uh, yeah, the second album, I was completely alone. I think I borrowed the same drum kit and I um, did everything in the exact same way. And uh, the only difference was that I actually did it in uh, I think 19 hours. That would be the uh, Desum Engangvar album. It was completed in 19 hours. And uh, not much to say about that really. The, uh, the track called Hansum uh, Reis there was synth. Yeah, well, there was some synth music. I, I just. Uh, borrowed a synthesizer that was in the studio. Uh, the third album is interesting, that's the Vis Lisa Taos. I um, made the albums in uh, two weeks, completely. The um, third week I recorded it and uh, it was actually recorded alongside um, the Aske um, EP. Uh, and uh, Samoth, the um, uh, the uh, guitarist of Emperor, he was um, uh, playing bass on one of the tracks, I think. 
on the uh, Aske album that is and um, he was there for uh, the first day so he was he recorded the the bass for that track and then he left or two tracks I don't remember really uh, the um, the um, instrumental track on the uh, Aske EP was recorded when I recorded Desmond Gava, so it had already been recorded. So I didn't record it at that time at all, really. Uh, and when I was done uh, with Aske, I recorded um, Visli Sotaos. And uh, this was done uh, so fast that I think we spent 17 hours for the album in the studio. And uh, the track, uh, Tumhet, Emptiness, was um, something I made in the studio whilst um, the technician was doing some things. He, you know, they had to, uh, you know, I don't remember what he was doing, but he was doing something. I saw a synthesizer in the studio and I thought, hmm, that might uh, work for, for something. So I took the synthesizer, played, uh, played a little bit, and I made the Tumhet track in five minutes. I spent more time recording it than I did making it. So that was basically an improvis improvisation in the studio. And I may say a rather successful one. Uh, it's uh, one of the tracks that I like the most of all the tracks I ever made. That was the third album. So everything was completed in three weeks. From, uh, the, um, from I started making the tracks until I'd recorded everything, it was done in three weeks. And we spent 17 hours in the studio to record it. Uh, I also recorded a, a version of um, the Dunkelheit track, that would be the Burtsum track, but it was not done very well. I didn't use a click track for this album either. And the problem with the Dunkelheit track on this, when, on this recording was that I didn't manage to keep the tempo. So I, the tempo changed during the track, so it was rubbish and I threw it in the bin. Uh, the other track I made, I don't remember the name of it, I don't remember the track at all, but it wasn't good enough so I didn't use it. So I only used um, the Tumet improvisation and uh, the three tracks that uh, are, the three, three metal tracks that are on the album. Uh, then we move on to the Philosoph Philosopher album. Uh, for this album I uh, I used a drum kit that was already in the studio, uh, but it only had one bass drum. So we had to do some um, improvisation to get the uh, double bass playing on the uh, Yesu Dud track uh, properly. And uh, how we did that was that I just played with one drum, bam, just bam, 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 and he made a uh, he uh, what's it called? he recorded the drum and we put it another identical track right next to it so it would sound like a double drum and the reason for this was not that I couldn't play it but because I didn't have a two bass drums and it worked fine um, this album was also recorded incredibly fast and I think we used a click track for this one because of the experience with the Dunkelheit track um, when I recorded this Lisa Towers. Uh, I didn't want the, the, this to happen again. So that's the first album where I used a click track. And then we will move on to the, the uh, prison albums. I just recorded them on a um, music processor, you know, a keyboard with a, a recording uh, device. Um, and then I took the disc and sent them to Pitten and he made a master of it. Quite. A, I had a, the synth for for I think two weeks the first time I recorded an album and one week um, the, the second time and then I wasn't allowed to have it anymore so that's why I only made two albums in prison the uh, then I then we have some time lapse and I recorded Bellus uh, before I recorded Bellus I had been in prison for so long that I was not sure if I could play the drums very well and I could I had to buy a drum kit and rehearse a lot and I had a 
I spent a lot of time rehearsing and I didn't really get you know back in the drumming uh, I didn't become a good enough drummer to do it properly so what I did I recorded when I recorded Bellus I uh, went to the studio did it the exact same way as the others only I used a click track so we recorded first the drum then the guitars guitars bass and vocals and uh, then I made all the extras in the end but when I played the drums this time I um, uh, just played a short bit because that was all I was able to my drumming constitution was completely in ruins and I never managed to fix it so I only recorded a, a little bit a little bit uh, you know a couple of beats and then we stopped and then we, we recorded it digitally so uh, he what he did uh, rather what I suggested he did because he wasn't he was a bit uh, surprised by the method I took I took a, a method that is commonly used in uh, when you make uh, electronic you know, house techno music. You take a small bit and then you just cut and paste. You cut, copy and paste. And that was what we did there as well. We just took a drum, I played the drums, and we cut it and we copied it. So I, I do play all the drums, but not in one go. I just play a little bit at the time. And we did this for everything, and I, I did it even for the guitars this time, because I wanted it to to um, have a more... Uh, it, it, it does something with the sound, just where I'll just go adjust the... I'm too tall here. Huh? Uh, what I did... There we are. The lighting, perhaps? No. Uh, I play the guitar, same... Uh, just a little bit and we cut and paste cut copy paste and we cross faded each uh, section so it became uh, uh, just like I wanted it to be and what you get with this is a, a special type of atmosphere uh, that I wanted to have and uh, it works very well the problem with digital recordings is that it took a lot more time so when I recorded Bellus I think I spent at least five days in the studio and uh, that's a lot more than I did when we recorded it. Um, when, we, when, we, when we recorded it, ano uh, you know, analogic, I don't, know, I don't remember, I know what it's called. Uh, for the Fallen album, exactly the same as the Bellas. Played some drum beat, cut it, copied it, and pasted it. So everything is, um, I play everything, but it's um, constructed as if it was, you know, house music. Uh, what else? Did the exact same for Umschifta. And uh, that's it. The last electronic albums I recorded on my wife's uh, Macintosh. Where well, they have a, a uh, freeware or uh, you get it when you buy the PC, you have the garage band and there you can record, so I did. Uh, not a penny spent on studio expenses so economically that's pretty pretty neat uh, bef uh, my drumming has always been an issue because uh, when I um, first wanted to record the W album I didn't know how to play drums so what I did was to go to the, um, the place where we uh, rehearsed with the uh, old funeral and I played the drums there for two nights <laughs> so and other than that I just rehearsed with my hands and feet you know and uh, so when I recorded the debut album I had played drums technically two evenings before I did that was it the vocals I didn't have a vocalist I didn't want a vocalist and I didn't know how to sing myself so what I did was just experiment and uh, I came up with something that I figured would be sufficient and I used it. Uh, I have to say I'm not too happy with the vocals for the the first album in particular. Uh, the second album is pretty is okay, the uh, Vislisa Taurus is cool, the Philosopher is cool and so, and so forth, but I wasn't happy and I'm still not happy with the vocals for the debut album. It uh, sounded like um, uh, 
you know, the vocals on Death Crush, and I didn't like it really. But that was that was all I have. So, uh, what else to say? I don't know. That's how I recorded the albums. Much improvis improvisation, and uh, nothing was done by the book, which is. Um, Oh yes, I can talk about the, the use of uh, amps. For the debut album, we I used a tiny Marshall, like a 10 watt or something, watts, and uh, my own PV. I had a, I think it was, uh, I don't remember the some PV, you know, this big. So I had used those. I used only the PV for the Desmond Alvar. I used the PV for this Lisa Taos. And for Philosopher, I didn't use an amp at all. I used um, my brother's stereo. He had you know, a rack. I took the, the stereo to the studio and connected some um, fuzz paddles and used that because that created a very cool sound. And it was also very different from anything else. Uh, for the vocals on um, all the albums, I used a normal mic, except for on Philosopher, where I used... Um, uh, I asked the... Uh, the technician for the worst mic he had because that would create a special type of distortion and he found a headset so I used a headset for the vocals. Uh, for the uh, post-prison albums I used a PV, a big PV, you know, a, like this and a big, big uh, speaker and a new guitar because the guitar I had when I whilst I was in prison was stolen. That was a Weston, by the way. I have no idea what it's called, but it was a Weston, and um, uh, I liked it. That's the guitar I used for all the early albums. I never had any other guitar. And uh, for Bellus and uh, Fallen and Fallen, I thought it's actually a Norwegian name, but it's the same in English. And uh, um Shifter, I used the um, peewee equipment. Um, this was um, kindly donated to me because Darren from um, Plastic Head uh, made a deal with peewee and they gave it to me as some sort of endorsement. Uh, so that's why I had that. The uh, amplifier still is still in Norway along with um, the speakers. Uh, so I never brought them back here to France. And um, yeah, I have the guitar still though. It's a, it's a, it's the, the amplifier was great, the guitar is okay. I, I prefer my Weston, but uh, you use what you have. Um, for the bass, by the way, I always used um, either a bass from, uh, from the, the sound, uh, the studio, the sound technician is a professional bassist, bass player, and uh, so I borrowed one of his. But uh, the coolest sound I have ever achieved with a bass was with a very cheap bass that I just purchased for practice before I, I um, made the, the Bellus album. And uh, I just recorded it using a, a Traction 2 on my computer. I recorded with that bass, and that was the best bass sound I ever achieved. But, uh, uh, for some reason, I find the uh, rehearsal sounds uh, cooler than the studio sounds. But uh, and that's why I brought the um, my brother's stereo that uh, for uh, Philosopher because uh, I wanted that uh, homemade sound, the uh, rehearsal sound. Yeah. Um, what else? I guess that's it. That's how I recorded the albums. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Now I'll get to work. Yeah. Uh -huh.